Hello everyone, and thank you for joining us. My name is Naresh Rao, and I'm product manager at Google Cloud, focused on delivering our autonomous network operations framework solutions for our communication service providers. I'm joined by my colleague, Anurag Sharma, principal software engineer for Google Cloud Network and Infrastructure. For years, we have been on a journey with telcos moving from manual process to basic automation. But the future demands more. The complexity of 5G edge computing and soaring data traffic requires fundamental shift to truly autonomous state. To frame this challenge, we align our vision with the industry's own goal. Let me show you what I mean. The team forum gives us a clear shared language for the journey. Most operators today are at level two or three with pockets of automation operating in silos. The goal is to get to level four and five, where the network is not just automated, but it is self-governing, self-healing, and capable of making complex decisions on its own. It's about creating a zero-touch environment. But how do we get there? This isn't just about buying new software. It's about adopting a new operational model. Our autonomous network operations framework provides the architectural blueprint for this shift. It starts with building a single source of truth with network insights and most importantly, a network digital twin built on Google Cloud Spanner. We then layer on intelligence fabric using the same AI and machine learning models we have perfected inside Google. Finally, we enable closed loop actions through modern API driven orchestration. This isn't just a theory. This is a model that has been battle tested at an unprecedented scale operating our own network. To give you insights how Google manages this in practice, I would like to hand it over to Anurag, who helps build and operate Google's own planet scale backbone network. Anurag? Thanks, Naresh. Let me begin by describing the immense scale of Google's network, which will establish the foundation for our transition to autonomous network operations. Google's network is exceptionally expansive, operating across 42 regions and 127 zones. Furthermore, it incorporates uh, over 2 million miles of lit fiber and has a presence in more than 200 countries and territories worldwide. As you can see on this slide, networking has gone through a significant evolution over time, moving from purely manual operations towards uh, increasing levels of automation. At Google, our network is fully SDN driven and entirely based on intent-based networking. Now the next crucial phase for us, as depicted in stage five, is moving towards the truly AI-powered autonomous network. This is where AI and machine learning play a central role in network operations and management, allowing the network to not just automate tasks, but to actually learn, adapt, and reason on its own, further enhancing its efficiency and reliability. Network 5.0 is our vision for the autonomous network, much like an autonomous vehicle. It treats the network as a complex system, understanding the interdependencies, continuously learns and adapts from the real-time data, flags anomalies, and identifies root causes in real time for proactive problem solving and enables decision making without human intervention. This leads to offering unprecedented reliability and efficiency. We are moving beyond silo data by bringing together network and business operation data. This holistic view allows our ML models like GenAI and graph neural networks to learn the intricacies of the network, providing deeper real-time insights. On the left, you see the diverse data sources like network state, inventory, scripts, telemetry, and even unstructured real-world data. This data feeds our autonomous network monitoring and operation core. The system can drive real-time chatbots, uh, provide deep insights and eventually reach full autonomy. Going a little deeper, the core concept is transforming various data sources like network intent, operational states, unstructured data, and historical data, including telemetry, into a real-time digital twin of the network. This uh, digital twin is a constantly updated graph, which is a virtual representation of Google's physical and logical network and also is business processes. Built on Spanner Graph, our digital twin allows us to treat the network as a complex system. This comprehensive relationship-rich data then feeds into ML models, 
which learn the network's intricate complexities and representation enabling powerful capabilities for various downstream use cases. Let's dive a little uh, bit deeper into the architecture. On the left, we have the digital twin we just discussed, our real-time comprehensive network representation. On the right, we have our ML model repository. This isn't just a collection of models. It's a repository of generic models specifically designed for core network AI functions like anomaly detection and explainability, root cause analysis, and what-if executions. These models built to be reusable and adaptable across different parts of the network. The power comes in the bottom section, metadata-driven use case development. We input metadata which describes the specific problem or task we want to solve. This metadata then guides the entire pipeline from data preparation from the digital twin to training the appropriate generic model from the repository, evaluating uh, their performance, and finally deploying them into production. This approach is crucial for scaling our autonomous network capabilities. By leveraging metadata and reusable graph AI assets, we abstract away the complexity, enabling us to quickly develop and deploy new intelligent network solutions. With that, back to you, Naresh. Thank you, Anurag. As you can see, the path to autonomous network isn't a mystery. It's a proven engineering discipline. By combining the TM Forum's vision with the practical battle-tested blueprint from Google's own network, we can provide telcos with a clear roadmap to achieving level five autonomy. We invite you to learn more about how our autonomous network operations framework can help you build the zero touch network of the future. Thank you.